Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So my daughter has been begging me to do these Fulani braids on her hair because I've been rocking them. So, you know, she wants to be like her mom. So of course I said yes. And to get started, um, I've already done mini twists in the back. I've done mini twists because they're just easier to do. And this is an easy style. So I use my SSS plates. I'll leave the link below along with the tutorial on how I use these plates. So um, I'm using my Taylor Beauty Edge Control and I use Edge Control at the edge of each cornrow. This is going to help control the frizz when I braid. So it is going to help me keep the braids really, really neat. If you guys are familiar with my videos, you know that this is what I use every time I cornrow her hair. So in order to start this hairstyle, I'm just going to do a cornrow down the middle of her hair. And as you can see, um, each and every time I corn roll, I'm just grabbing some additional edge control to pretty much keep the braid really, really neat. Now, I'm not a professional braider. I'm not a professional hair braider. Um, this is pretty much how I braid. This style is somewhat beginner friendly. So if you do know how to corn roll, um, this can be a pretty easy style for you to do. As you saw at the beginning of the video, I did do twist in the back just because I don't, I want to make the style easy to do as well as take down. So once I get pretty much to the end of the corn roll, I'm just going to finish it halfway through with a corn roll and I'm going to do halfway through with a twist. So as you can see, once I get to the down where I can't really corn roll that much, I go ahead and twist the hair. So in order to get the um, triangle effect of the braids, I'm going to start by braiding the corner braid. Now, as you can see, this is how I part the hair. I use the tail section at the end. And then once I make my part, I clean it up with the comb. So I'm adding some edge control at the back of an edge control brush and I'm just going to work that into her hair. I'm not going to brush it in, I'm just going to work it in with my finger. And the same way I corn roll the top, I'm going to corn roll the side. Okay, so once I get to the top, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a um, part. I'm going to start my part close to the corn roll at the top. And I'm going to make a triangle. And I'm going to continue to follow that pattern till I get to the last corn roll. As you can see, I'm cleaning up the corn roll with the comb. And I'm adding edge control. Anytime I see flyaway hairs, I kind of just smooth that down as I corn roll. That's going to help me create very neat braids. And I'm not braiding her hair tight at all. I'm not a tight braider. Um, so throughout the process, I usually ask her, if it, is it tight? Does it hurt? Just to make sure I'm not hurting her hair because I know personally that I do not like when people braid my hair tight. So I try to really consider that when I'm braiding her hair. So as you can see, she's excited. I told you guys she really wanted her hair like this. So she is just so excited about this hairstyle. So here is the half and I'm going to continue to do that same exact pattern on the other side of her hair. Following the parts from the other side, I'm, I'm going to make the parts line up with the other side. 
so anytime you're braiding here you definitely want to detangle each section i like to miss the section with taylor beauty moisturizing this and i'm just going ahead and i'm missing the section and i'm using my denman brush starting from the bottom and working my way up since her hair has been air dried it does have a little bit of tangles so i want to make sure i get rid of each tangle um, before i start the braid so as you can see i've started that braid and it is um lining up with the braid on the other side If I do get any tangles along the way, I'll just finger the tangle with, with my hands. Um, but it's this style is just pretty simple. I really love doing um, styles like this because they last a long time and they help with her length retention. So now that I am finished the braid, I'm gonna go ahead and add beads to the bottom of the braids. I did get these beads from my local beauty supply store and I only added them to the crown section of her hair. So now I'm just removing the plate. So I'm adding some hair jewelry that I've also picked up from the uh, beauty supply store. <laughs> she's so cute. But yeah, as you can see, she's super excited about this hairstyle and I added three pieces of hair jewelry to complete the hairstyle. So this is the final look. And if you decide to do this hairstyle, please tag me on Instagram. I love seeing you guys recreate these hairstyles. Be sure to subscribe to my channel because I have videos every Sunday. Next Sunday, I will be posting this video on how I did these crochet Fulani braids on myself. I hope you guys like watching this video. Make sure to subscribe and give it a thumbs up.